In this video, we'll be going over the architecture of Burt Suite Enterprise Edition, its core components, and the connections between them. Firstly, we have the Enterprise Server, which is the main application server. It coordinates between the other components. The Enterprise Server is always installed on the same machine as the Web Server. The Web Server provides the interface to users either via the Web UI or one of the APIs. Again, the Web Server is always installed on the same machine as the Enterprise Server. Next, we'll have one or more scanning machines. On standard deployments, scans run on a scanning machine. Think of these as your automated penetration testers. You can embed the scanning machine on the same machine as the other components, or you can deploy multiple external machines on which your scans can run. Scanning machines can then be grouped into scanning pools to allow finer control over scanning resource. For Kubernetes deployments, you don't have to set up and manage individual scanning machines. Instead, the system automatically creates additional resource to cope with the number of concurrent scans that you need to run at any given time. These resources are then scaled back down once they are no longer required. All of these components will connect to some form of SQL database. This is to store data about configured sites and scans, the results of scans, and other configuration information. You can use one of the following options. A bundled H2 database that can be installed on the same machine as the enterprise server and web server. This option is suitable for a trial or evaluation. For production deployments, we recommend that you use your own external database. This option lets you utilize any existing database infrastructure that you have, including database backups, and is more appropriate for larger deployments. For information about specific database types and versions that are supported, please refer to our documentation database specification. Note that you can start out using the bundle database and migrate to an external one later if necessary. We recommend this approach in order to simplify the initial installation and evaluation process. Finally are the Burp Suite Enterprise Edition services, either three or four services on your machine depending on whether you're using the bundled database or not. For more information on services, please refer to the Burp Suite Enterprise Edition services documentation. Thank you.